local group is proposing an alternate design for the Brent Spence Bridge project. As WCPO 9 News Anna Azalian reports, the group is presented its plan to a Cincinnati City Council meeting today. Bridge Forward's proposed design isn't about the Brent Spence Bridge or the Companion Bridge planned to be built next to it. It's about the land on the Ohio side of the river that would be impacted by the project. This is the biggest public project the city's going to see in a long, long time. And the local group Bridge Forward thinks Cincinnati can get a better deal out of it. They say this is the goal. And we'll open up the 30 acres adjacent to downtown. It's everywhere in green on this map, providing an alternative to the Ohio Department of Transportation's current plan. What they're proposing is sort of a roller coaster, you know, all kinds of ramps that go this way and that way and feel like you're on a roller coaster and it takes up a lot of horizontal land. Bridge Forward's design would condense the highways leading to the Brent Spence Bridge and the new companion bridge set to be built next to it. Our solution is to look at the vertical distance between US 50 on West 6th and US 50 where it goes into the Fort Washington Way Trench and use some of that vertical space to run this section underneath the main roadway. This plan would add this street grid extension, the purple lines on this map. Bridge Forward says it's been submitting its design plans to ODOT as they evolve. ODOT spokesperson Matt Bruning says the project team has and continues to welcome any and all ideas that will help make this transformational project even better. He says the team has already made changes to recapture land for the city. This is more than nine acres of land. We are here to ask for something better. But it's not enough for Bridge Forward. We think we can do better than the current design. State officials are currently bidding out the project to firms that will refine the plans and consider alternatives. The design build contract will be awarded on May 31st. Anna Azalian, WCPO 9 News.